And and Mono, you don't do anything just boxing, right? Twenty four seven is just boxing. Yeah, yeah man. Uh, they always ask me like, do you watch any other sports? Or you? and I really don't, man. I mean, I like to watch basketball, but it's not like, oh, I know this guy, I know this team, I know that guy. You know, I like to I like to watch certain sports. I just don't follow up on them like boxing, man. Boxing, you can ask me anything, and, I'm, and I know, you know. And I mean, if there's fights this weekend, next weekend, I'm gonna be watching them, and I'm watching from the beginning to the end. But yeah, I mean, it's just boxing. No, it's not really. I don't watch any other sports. Do you, did you? Uh, what do you, what did you think about uh, Bam Rodriguez's performance against Quadras uh, last weekend? You know, it's it sucked that I had a fight that night, man, because I'm 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 a big fan um, of Bam, and. Um, it sucked. It sucked that it was the same night. But as soon as I got back into my room, I I watched the man. I watched the zone. Bam, Bam is really talented, man. And um, and the, the reason why I was bummed that I that that I that I that I watched it um after uh after my fight was because I saw the footwork, man. I was inspired. I was like, man, I could have used that on Vladimir, you know. I, I picked up a few things from from Bam, man. But he's he's real talented and. He he looked he looked real good, man. He looked sharp. I like that. I like that uppercut when when he knocked him down. That was just smooth, bro. And that's just that you don't you don't you don't get that in one training camp, you know, two training camps, or you don't get that in one year. That's he's been training his whole life, man, and and that's why he's so good. The new the new school of of the Mexican American boxers from Este Lado, like you, uh, Rayo Valenzuela, uh, Jesse Bam Rodriguez. It's like now people are starting to talk about Bam. People are high on Rayo, but do you feel like like finally you're gonna be the one to break through? Like like I said, where you're 18 and 0, 15 knockouts. You even said stuff like you don't care about the Instagram followers. You just want to fight. You know what I mean? Like there's you don't got no you don't got no strikes against you. You know what I'm saying? I explain why why Rasa needs to be behind you and 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 why you why you are the next one. And, and why people need to stop sleeping on you? I mean, I feel like yeah. I mean, it's, it's I mean, boxing boxing fans are are, are are the the cruelest man. You know, uh, when Floyd Mayweather was around, everybody was mad because he was always talking. And people wanted him to be humble and stuff like that. And I feel like like you know, I'm humble. I just show up and do what I gotta do. And yet, people still don't get behind me. So I mean, you just never know how to please them, but. Like I said, I'm just I'm just here to do my do my job, man. I'm just here to work. I love boxing. I love to compete, and I love to get ready. You know, I love I love being in camp, um, learning different things. So I'm just gonna continue to do what I do. You know, I I I, I take the hardest fights that are out there, and 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 I I want to do that because I want to keep learning. I feel like if you if you stay at a certain level, you stop learning. You know, I took a lot from my last fight with Vladimir, and um, we take another fight like that, we're gonna to continue to grow. And um, you know, that's you can't take that away from me. You know, that that experience can't take that away from me. And, and and that that's the important part. If I got people behind me, cool. If I don't, cool. I'll continue to, to win and continue to, to to bring exciting fights. 